to day two of our monthly educational series in the month of June. And this month, we are talking about saving. And I know that a lot of people in their mind, when they've hit the topic, have concluded that they know all they need to know. Okay, so maybe you do. Maybe you need me to talk about it to bring it to the front of your mind. And then maybe what you actually need is motivation to do the right thing. Because knowing the right thing is never enough. Doing the right thing is what counts. So let me rock the boat a bit today by saying that I hope you know that making a lot of money, making a lot more money than you're making right now is not going to make you rich. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. Don't sue me. Don't come and arrest me. Just think about it. You realize that making so much more money than you make right now actually does not have the power to make you rich, wealthy, or even anything you want to be. You know, when we're talking about um, debt management, we said a lot of things that I concluded by saying, if debt is always pursuing you, increase your income. Okay, I have now come to tell you that increasing your income is not going to make you rich. What is going to make you rich is retaining some of the money you earn because there are several things that can happen after you earn the money. The first one is that you use it to pay debts, which is what we we're talking about, or you would even spend it I'm sure you have heard of Parkinson's law. Well, if you have not, this is your take-home assignment for today. Go and find out what is Parkinson's law. But today, the principle I want to share with you is the principle that the first step to having a healthy relationship with money is making sure that you spend less money than you earn. The goal is to make sure that you spend less than you Earn, or you earn more than you need to spend and this is where the sense of budgeting comes in you need to know how much you need to live basically and then set a target for your income that exceeds your living expenses this is where you take a decision on the kind of relationship you want to have with money no matter how much you make you have to make sure that you become a custodian of money and not a conduit. A custodian is somebody that keeps a conduit, is someone through which it flows. Yeah. So you need to manage your money in such a way that it doesn't come into your hand and leave your hand the same way it came, almost with the same speed. Sometimes, some people, the money has even left before it came. So you need to make sure you do not even spend money you have not yet earned. Your relationship with money must be healthy. Now, saving is an art that can be learned. It is a skill that can be mastered. So over the next few days, I'm going to be sharing a few tips on how you can make sure that what you keep is more than what you let go so that you can now become a custodian of money and not a conduit. Don't forget that it's never about the quantity of money that you make. It is always about your control over your cash flow that enables you to retain some of that money. So we continue from there tomorrow. See you then. Bye.